Hello! So today I'm going to show you how I bleach my hair. <laughs> like I get people all the time asking me, did you do your hair? And I'm always like, yeah. By yourself? Uh-huh. With just one hand? Mm -mm. Yeah, I've only got the one. Well, how do you do that? Well, I get some ingredients. And, like, the reason why I do 20 volume is because my ends are fried. Okay, and I am only doing my roots, okay, and their new hair. So, it's not going to need that much. And I'm not going to dye my, my ends, okay? But that's just in case if it gets on there. I don't want it to be, you know, too much. And then I'm using this, okay? Which, I mean, it's not the best products, but, I mean, it's not the worst. And, uh, so, yeah, I got my little bowl here. And then I, I'm using this to put in the bowl. Like, it's like, I don't know how many ounces is what. Can't eyeball that. <laughs> Alright, and... Have scissors, okay, and I'm gonna cut the corner like so. Uh oh, corner method ain't gonna work, so we're just gonna cut that all the way over. Yes, we are. And then I'm gonna pour it in here, and then I'm gonna. Mix it up. I'm probably going to have to put this glove on too. So like, when you've only got one arm, you really do a lot of stuff. It's just your hands and your teeth a lot of the time. And you make a mess a lot of the time too. But if you're OCD like me, you want everything organized and you cannot handle looking at everything and showing my like it's all gonna be just organized like I have all my stuff it's it's organized you know you try but sometimes you live with messy people and it's hard to be organized so anyways I've got my little and I'm mixing up my quick glue and like this is really thick right now I don't really want it this thick because it looks like a paste and I hate it out sometimes you put the amount that it says on there and it's like way too thick yeah this might be too much thickness I'm just going to pour a little bit more in there just just like a little dab to thin it out it's like I'm not trying to make toothpaste. And I'm going to try to like section up my hair a little bit. It's, it's necessary when you don't want to do your ends, you know. It's too thick, but, you know, I'm not Brad Mondo over here, so how am I supposed to know? <laughs> Anyways, so, I'm going to, okay, and I got this handy dandy little thingy here. I don't want to have to keep coming back, so. It's harder with short hair, yes. It's harder when you're an amputee, yes. <laughs> but, you know, this is my life, so. You just gotta keep going and, like, 
I've been dying my hair all my life. So, I definitely wanted to continue doing that. You know, I had long black hair for a while. And it was boring. So I tried red. And red just, um, just wasn't flattering enough to me, you know? So I'm trying to not get my hands. This is going to be very hard because my hair is so short, you know? You're probably going, oh my god, where are those sections? It's the best I could do. But, like I said, we're at like 20 volumes, so I don't want to like damage my roots more. And I'm using like a really good pigmented dye that I've worked with many times, you know, so I know how it's going to be. I'm just trying to get... The blackness of these roots, you know, you don't want to go blonde because you want to color your hair either. So, For all those people out there that are like, oh yeah, I don't need a section. Okay, good luck with that. <laughs> sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. I mean, it's the best to just do it the right way, honestly. So yeah, we're just trying to tap the roots here. Sometimes this is easier said than done. The back is the hardest part for me. Yeah. We just try to do that the best we can too. Okay. These roots were getting super bad. Oh, I'm not joking. They were I like how this color fades. It faded really nice. And I mean, I thought about doing cotton candy, but no. Usually by the time I am through with this part, you know, um, my hair's ready to ready to be washed. It, it does it fast, and like, you have to remember you put it on your scalp, your scalp gets hotter, stays hotter faster. Of course, it stays hard. God, it's only an airhead, but like you gotta. That's the hot part of your body, duh. And uh, the scalp is hotter because it's closer to your head, and it will take faster. And new hair processes faster. So yeah, that's what I do know about stuff. And I mean, 
some slather in this on here because you want it to be thick and you want to try to do both sides as thick as possible so it penetrates to the other side. You don't want it to be looking crazy and such. So. by my ear and I'm not feeling completely horrible <laughs> I don't think but this ain't completely easy either right right oh I just dropped that in my sink Okay, here's where life starts to trip you up here. Okay. So, this is where I pretty much do this little number here, right? Trying not to get all of this whitened back here. Just the ends, right? Or just the tips. So I'm going to flip this over here, right? And we're going to take this off. Okay, so we did that one part. And then we're going to do... this get a good mohawk looking thing going on here right yeah trying to make sure I get this back part back here. Oh, just go all up in my ear. <clears throat> I 
All right. Now I want to make sure I get that part back here. And I go up here on my face, make sure I get all of this really good. Cause like, I did do it in sections, but I just want to make sure that all these dark parts around my face is good and saturated because that's what everybody sees, right? Yeah, all that's trying to die. <laughs> Literally. I'm ruining all of my hair right now. Okay, now. Go and we flip it all forward again. Alright. There we go. Now you don't brush all the way through it just because you don't want to, you know. Antagonize freshly dyed hair or with bleach in it because it will strip the ends so I try to not brush all the way through just you know and then I come over here see Trying to make sure I get all the way over here on both sides, see? <laughs> it's not easy, you know, I don't have a mirror behind me. I'm literally feeling through and making a perfect line in the back. Feeling through and going across, right? Right. I just, I have to make sure that I get enough on my brush. I would like kill to have Brad Mondo come over here and section my hair like a dream come true <clears throat> because like uh I just feel like I do the best I can but like I am like <clears throat> no expert you know and like I've only been dyeing my hair. M only my hair. <laughs> All my life. So like, you get... You get used to how... Your hair is. And you know what you gotta do. You know. And you know how your hair grows. So now we're getting up here to the top part. Or I don't have much filled in. But as you can see, it's starting to lighten rather, rather fast. And it always does. And that's another reason why I try to do this as fast as possible. And I'm looking at a mirror in front of me. You know, I've got mirrors around me. You just can't see them. Okay. We go get into the thick of it. The scalp part. The back of my head. And this is always the hardest part for me. Because it's the hardest to see. Just brushing and slathering it on. Yep. That's what you do at this point. You just brush and slather. Oh, this one part here is worrying me. I think it's going to be fine, but 
It's definitely worrying me. But I think my hair is being dyed like a flamingo pink, so. If there's orange, it's not a big deal. Because on the color wheel, orange and pink complement each other. They I mean it tones it out, you can't you can't see it. So no biggie. You know. But you do want to make sure that you go back over and check the top. That's what I always do. Make sure I got all that really good. And yeah, I did have my hair section. I section. But. Um, I think I've got it all. Let's just hope that my developer, even though it was 20, is enough for these roots. And I mean, like I said, it should be. So, I'm going to put a bag over my head and set a timer for about... 15 minutes and then I'm gonna come back and check so, see you soon so we're back what I'm about to do is lightly dry my hair okay and like I said the orange is not gonna matter when I'm using something as pigmented as this okay so I'm going to dry my hair and uh, then I'll come back to show you how I put the color in. All right. See you soon. All right. I am back and I have pink tips. All right. And my thing is sopping wet. So what I'm about to do is slather this all over my head. So. I'm gonna put this here on my ear, right? Okay. And mm. I'll take this and dry it off ever so slightly. All right, now I'm suited up for war here, and I am just gonna, man, I think I'm just gonna go in, right, right, let's just do it. This is so good for my hair right now because she's not happy with what had happened to her. I'm using a Punky Colors dye and it's got a lot of natural stuff in it. I don't know what. Exactly, I'm not a scientist, but I'll tell you this, my hair is a great deal different each time I use this on it, so, I mean something, <laughs> I do use a lot of good products on my hair. And yeah, I am just slathering this in because my hair, right, is breaking apart. And, um, 
and dyed your hair as many times as me, you know you don't brush your hair if you can avoid it. And so, yeah. <laughs> we doing our best right now to keep our hair from falling out. It's really not that horribly damaged, but then again it is. <sighs> I know, you're thinking, what is this madness? You did such good sectioning in the beginning with the bleach. Yeah, but that was different. That was bleach. I didn't want to burn my ends off. This is pigmented color that I'm trying to get on the ends and all the way down to the mid, the root. I know it's not shampoo, I'm just trying to move it around. Okay, I know. Come over here, pop this off of this ear. Have it on this one because pink ears are not flattering. Uh -uh. My hair has been pink for two years, almost. Going on two years. There was like a brief moment when I was working that it was not. About a month. Pink hair is hard to maintain. But one hair is a lot harder. And I didn't want to go back to a darker color. I knew they were going to keep me. I've heard the stories. And, um, you know, I knew it was a long shot they would keep an amputee, anyways. So I kept it blonde so I could go back to pink. I did try. Worked my butt off at that place and yeah, they didn't deserve me. I love that job and I think the happier of a person I was, the angrier it made certain people. But I don't want to talk about that. Just I pray for them. Because yeah. Anywho. Trying to make sure that I get all of this saturated. And I'm just going through here and looking for any white pieces, any yellow pieces, any light pink pieces. And I'm just trying to make sure that I get all of this completely saturated. And I got a lot in the back I've got to get. I usually don't use a whole container, but my hair's getting longer. And I mean, like, this is like a pomade, I guess. I'm gonna call it that like it is not no um panic panic crap though you know it's really thick saturated and I'm actually having to use quite a bit I did this color in February and I absolutely love it. I usually do this one for cotton candy. And the key to this one was to making it so dark was my hair wasn't extremely 
light it was still kind of dark so that's why I said the yellow is not going to matter it's actually going to help in the process because we need that all right so I'm trying to make sure everything has dye on it because That's what we need. <laughs> Everything to have dye on it. Right, right. Now the lighter pieces are always lighter. And it always winds up looking like I highlighted it. I don't know why. I guess because I do it like this. But I've done it this way each time and it's how I like it. And yeah. <laughs> it's not perfect. Okay. Never said it was. I'm a freaking amputee. <laughs> it's not going to be perfect. I got one arm, man. What do you expect? <laughs> Anywho. I think I got it. And I actually had to use a whole container. Like, I would not tell you that this dye is awesome if it wasn't it is it's like the most pigmented dye I've ever used I ordered off of Amazon if you have long hair you would need more than one container for sure but uh it's good it's good in your hair so I'm going to go sit in the living room with my family, watch some Doctor Who, or my so-called life. I don't know. We're in a weird, we're in a weird binge right now. I love 90s stuff. I need to bring the 90s back. And I get done, I'll come back and show you my hair, whether it's a complete disaster or if it's fabulous so see you soon all right so it has been 35 minutes and i went and i washed it and i put a leave-in conditioner that a friend sent me and um so it's a little bit on my face but that'll wash off all right, so I'm going to put some uh, treatment in my hair. Do a little bit of this. Okay. And uh, some of this. This is bio silk. All right, and I put some of that on my ends already. I dry, towel dry. And then put it on and I sprayed some of the Foxy Bay stuff too. It's a leave-in conditioner. I use really good like shampoos. Nothing from like Walmart or anything. And I order most of my stuff online. So the thing about pigmented dye like it's gonna look really dark the first couple of days maybe even week but it does fade and that's what you have to remember and it's gonna look a lot different when I dry it so why don't I go blow dry my hair and then show you what it looks like after that All right, guys, I'm back, and this is the final result after I've blow-dried it and treated it. Like I said, it's going to, like, fade. It'll fade, and it'll go into, like, cotton candy pink in about 30 days. Like, it does take time. This is really good dye. It's funky colors. You can get it on Amazon. I recommend it. Like, any of their dye is good because it's really pigmented. And yes, my head is stained right now, 
But, you know, with a pigmented dye like this, that's to be expected. But always treat your ends. And because I didn't really, um, you know, do much with my ends, I just added the color to it. It's actually made my hair feel so much healthier and thick. Like, oh, it's insane. I mean, I don't think I'm, I don't think there are any black spots, but I could be wrong. But I think for a one-hander, I did good. So, hope everybody's having a great day, and I hope that you make every day beautiful, too. Bye, everybody.